Hey guys, we are back again and today I'm going to teach you about LEDs. Now your LEDs you can use on any project, it doesn't matter what project you want to use it on and the great thing is you can use it with any voltage power supply. Now I'm going to teach you how to use it on a 19 volt power supply. Of course this would work on a 12 volt, 5 volt, whatever you want to use. The reason why I'm using 19 volt is because I'm going to actually show you on a 19 volt later uh, how to actually implement what we're teaching. So go to this website or another website that has these calculations and start inputting the uh, information that you have. The supply voltage is the actual voltage of your power supply. So if your power supply is a 12 volt, you're going to put 12 here. If it's a USB or something that's going to give 5 volts, put that. In this particular case, I'm going to be using a 19 volt power supply. If you don't know, just take a look on the back of your power supply. It should give you a number on there and it'll say XV. So it'll say like 19V or 12V. That's the amount of voltage it has. Voltage drop across the LED. Most people will not know this. Great thing is there's a question mark here that gives it to you. So I'm going to be using blue and it says blue is typically around three. Now I also know that because of where I purchased it from actually told me, but you may not know that. So it's great. This particular website has that on there. Now the desired LED current. It does tell you here most LEDs are 20 milliamps and super bright LEDs can be 30 milliamps and above. Now I know my particular one is 20 milliamps. Once again, that's from where I purchased them from. They, they told me that. Uh, if you don't know, you're going to uh, you, you, you have to make an educated guess based off of what most regular LEDs work with. And most of them are 20 milliamps, so you're pretty good with that guess. Now, how many LEDs are connected? I'm going to go ahead and do five. Uh, my particular project that I'm going to be doing, five should work perfectly. Uh, although I, I could do six as well, but let's just do five for now and let's calculate it. All right, so here's it gives us a schematic and gives us some information down here. Now, the schematic shows us the positive end of the battery and the negative end of the battery. And it shows us that we need to connect a wire from the positive end. Now, this doesn't have to be a battery, this just has to be your power supply. So, the positive end of our power supply into a resistor, and this particular resistor, R1, needs to be a 220 ohm is the nearest high, higher rated resistor which is, would give you about 18.2 milliamps and the exact one is 200 ohms that would give you 20 milliamps so I'm gonna go ahead and use the exact because I have that so later I will be using a 200 ohm resistor here and you're gonna take that resistor and see one end is gonna and the resistor by the way it is it doesn't matter which direction you run it, so don't worry about that. So we're going to run the resistor here. Now it does matter on the LEDs. They do have a positive and a negative, and we'll show you how to how to decipher that. But the positive line, to, and then the negative connects to the positive of every other LED until you get to the end, and the negative then or ground goes back to the power source. And in my case, it would be a 19-volt power supply. So it's that simple. Uh, I am going to show you one other thing, and I'm going to show you something like eight LEDs. And the reason why I'm going to show you that is because it is a little different when you do eight. Uh, if you notice, it's going to give you six and then two. And it's going to give you two different resistors. And it will give you the resistor value. R1 is located here, and R2, which is the second resistor here, is located here. So R1's value is 50 ohms exact or 56 ohms. And R2 is right here, 650 or 680 ohms. Now, the way you hook that up, it's very simple. You split the positives to the two different resistors. The 680 ohm resistor or 650 ohm would go here. And the 50 ohm resistor would go here. And then the two grounds afterwards or two negatives would be combined and go back to the source. All right, guys, now it's that simple. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you for real how we do this. All right, guys, we are back again, and I just want to show you some of the things that we have and what you'll need for this project to get started. 
Uh, first thing you're going to need is a power source of some kind. I do have a 19 volt power source. I'm not sure if you can read that. It is a 19 volt 4.74 amp power supply. And I also have a power jack here, which we'll just plug into there with a positive and ground sticking out of it. Uh, positive and negative, that makes it easier for you. We have some 200 amp, I'm oh, sorry, 200 ohm resistors here. I only need one of them, so I'm just gonna take one out. And that's just what I need for this particular project. And we have all these LEDs. Now, I promised to show you on the LEDs how you can tell which one is a positive and the negative terminal. When you're looking at an LED like this, you're going to notice something about them, and it's hard to see. But you see that one lead is just a little bit longer. The longer lead is the positive. And that's important because we know that this resistor needs to be hooked up to the positive terminal. And we also know that based off of what we used earlier on the website that this positive, the negative needs to be connected to a positive. So the shorter one's going to be connected to a longer one on each one of these wires. And they're going to continue to alternate until we have five and then the fifth one's going to connect back to the ground. Now I'm not going to waste your time by soldering everything. Instead of soldering everything, let me just use some alligator clips. I have a bunch of alligator clips here that we'll be using. Um, some insulated, some not. It's really not important whether you use that or not. Let's get the power supply out of the way for now and start hooking these up. And I'll hook up a couple and then I'll show you the rest because it's, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to take a positive once again. Boom. Connect an alligator clip to it. Pretty simple. Now we're going to connect the resistor. Once again, the resistor can go either way. It doesn't matter about being upside down, so don't worry about that. Now once we connect it to the resistor, we're going to take another one. Once again, th these alligator clips, it doesn't matter what color you're doing. Alright, we're going to connect it to the other end of the resistor, and we're going to connect it to a positive. That's good. The positive on the LED. Longer one. Now, for this purpose, I... I am going to go ahead and stretch these out a little. That way they're not connecting or touching each other because you don't want that. Now we're going to take the negative, which is the smaller end, and we're going to connect it to the longer lead on this next one, which is the positive. And we're going to continue to hook up all of these until we have all five connected. Let me pause so I can show you, so I can finish this and you don't have to watch that. All right. So let's put this one back in. So now you can see we have five connected. One, two, three, four, five. Now I did not make the last connection because I wanted to make sure that you could see it. Fifth connection, we just take the negative of that LED and we connect to the ground of that. And now we have all five connected. Now we just need to plug in our power source. Ta-da! They all work. So you see all five are on and they are very bright. In fact, let's shut off some lights. You can see that they are very bright. So they'd work within any project that you want to do. Pretty neat. Well now you know how to hook up LEDs in any one of your projects. So. Uh, go ahead and start doing it. Let me know what you use these for and show me some projects if you finish them. All right, guys. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, give it a thumbs up.